Yo, what's going on guys? So I'm here in Mexico City. I've been here for about a month now, so I thought I'd give y'all a little breakdown of what it's been like um, in Mexico City. So to start things off, I want to break things down um, in both pros and cons of the city. I want to keep it real um, so you guys can have an idea what to expect if you do decide to come. But to kick things off, I'm going to start with the pros. Um, so one of the best things about Mexico City is how big it is, right? I mean, there's 20 plus million people. So as a, especially as a guy, as a single guy, anytime you're in a big city, all that means is there's more people to meet, um, more different um, things to experience. So that's honestly the best thing about Mexico City to me is the, just the sheer size, like it's it's unlimited. I, I made a video of Rio and I and I mentioned something about how it's like unlimited um, people to meet or people to say to swipe on on like Tinder or whatever. But let's just say just let's just say you can double that and that's Mexico City, right? Um, there's endless amount of people, so there's so much opportunity out there. Um, so definitely, that's that's a huge plus for me. The number two. Uh, thing about Mexico City that I really like is honestly, although this it's, this is a pro and a con, um, is but it's the food, right? The food is is very good. Um, there's a lot. One of the things that I've noticed a lot of countries south of the U.S. is that the food is flavorless. I mean, Colombia flavorless. Brazil, okay, Brazil is better than Colombia, but the food is not all that. Argentina. I like Argentinian food, but if you're looking for a specific type of flavor, Argentinian food's not going to have it, um, and it's not very spicy, but overall, I mean, I like Argentinian food, too. I mean, but outside of that, I mean, besides Peru, I can't think of any other place in Latin America where the food is like, wow, so that's something about Mexico City that I do like, um, is the food, however... Um, one of the, the caveat is it, it can make you sick. Um, I've gotten sick a couple times, but um, it tastes good. At least I'm not getting sick uh, in food that doesn't even taste good. So that's something you guys definitely have to uh, watch out for if you're coming down to Mexico. If you haven't been before, honestly, I get sick every time I come to Mexico. Um, but if you don't like, if you're like me, you don't have a strong stomach. Uh, you especially want to stay away from street food. Um, and definitely only eat at places that, um, you know, are pretty reputable. So, I mean, just, just have the street smarts there. But, so that's my second um, positive thing um, about Mexico City. The third is just, I just love how each neighborhood has its own vibe, right? So you get, the, the beauty about that is like, if you almost feel like you're in a different city, each, each uh, neighborhood you go to. Like, if you go to Polanco... You're going to be like in the Beverly Hills of Mexico City. You're going to feel very ritzy, very nice, very um, just just very uppity, right? Then you go to uh, Roma Norte. Roma Norte is kind of more of like the hipster type vibe, right? The More of the creator, the person who's a designer, a director. Um, then you go to Condesa. Condesa, I would say like it's still kind of that hipster vibe, but it's more of that cool type vibe, right? So... Whereas Roma Norte is like the, the director, the creator, the producer. The, the Condesa is like where the actor or actress lives, like the singer. So it's, it's, it's very cool that each of these, um, these neighborhoods have such different vibes. And then if you go Centro, Centro is more of the local, authentic, fast-paced, uh, grimy type vibe. So it's very cool. It's very unique. Um, and that's something I really like about Mexico City is you get those different flavors because a lot of these places, honestly, um, and these, especially these smaller cities, they're kind of all the same. I mean, for example, Medellin. I mean, yes, Medellin has different flavors, but it's not it's not the same. It's not the same like uh, like uh, Mexico City and even Rio de Janeiro. Yes, Rio de Janeiro is big. It has different different uh, neighborhoods, but. The vibe is not as like uniquely placed to each neighborhood like it is in Mexico City. So I really like that because I'm a type of guy who gets tired of being in the same place, tired of looking at the same people. I'm tired of doing the same thing. So I need a place that gives me a little more variety, um, just makes me feel like I'm traveling 
even though I'm not traveling. So that's a huge plus for me. Now let's get on to the cons, right? So the cons of the city. The number one con for me by far is the dang internet, man. Me and my boy Delane, we have been struggling, guys. Like, like I mean, guys, we've been struggling um, with the internet. Like, if we could tell you guys how much time we've spent walking around town, walking into coffee shops looking goofy as I don't know what, asking, oh, can we, uh, can we, uh, uh, measure how fast the uh, internet is? Like, we, we look goofy, like, we look so funny, right? But it's, but it's, it's important for us, right? Because we both work on it, like, we both are doing things online, so we, we need good internet. And that's something the city is lacking, like, Every Airbnb, but this one air like this one Airbnb brand has had absolutely sorry internet, and we've been stuck like Chuck guys. Like we've been literally just frustrated. So that's something I recommend you guys do if you come to Mexico City. Is you definitely need to reach out to the host or whoever wherever you're staying. Reach out to them before you book. Ask them how fast the internet is and. Guys, they're going to cap. They're going to say, oh, it's 200. Oh, it's 100. And then you just got to subtract like you, like half of it, right? Just cut it in half and you might get that, right? So ask them for proof. Tell them to send you a snapshot of fast.com of how fast the internet is. And guys, I promise you it's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of, especially a lot of money. If you if you make it money online, you do not want to be stuck like Chuck, like us, walking around, wasting time, wasting energy on trying to find decent internet, guys. So definitely get that handle before you come. Honestly, that will, I, guys, I'm, I'm serious. Get the, if you need internet, please, please get that handle before you come because it's, it's a struggle. So the number two thing I really don't like about the city is no AC, guys. Like 90, I would say 99% of the Airbnbs and stuff are not going to have AC. And yes, Mexico City is not, it doesn't get hot, but it does get hot enough to where it's uncomfortable, guys. Like, I mean, there's like, you know, when you walk into the crib, right, and it's cool, like it feels good, you're ready to relax. Nah, pretty much when you walk into the crib, you're going to be like, man, it feels better outside. Like, it's hot, it's muggy, it's it's just not a good feel when you walk inside here, man. You walk in, you're like, all right, well, I guess this is what the night's going to look like. We're just going to be sitting here sweating and not over. And then on top of that, it's like you walk in and it's like, well, this, this is, I guess this is our situation. We're just going to be... Um, sweating <laughs> and and it's not much you can do about it right it's just like or we could find a fan hopefully most places don't even have fans so it's been a struggle guys like i, I mean sleeping at night I, I can't sleep uh i i just can't relax because it's just so hot so that's another another hint i'll give you guys is make sure before you book ask them if they have fans if they don't have ac be like do you at least have fans? Because a lot of places don't even have fans. I'm like, no AC, but you still can't give me a fan. And and people are like, oh, well, just open a window. If you open a window, you're going to be infested with mosquitoes. So opening the windows is not an option. It's, it's literally not an option because it's either get bit up all night or sweat. So, guys, that's been a huge struggle. So definitely, please don't make the same mistake I did. Ask before you book if they have fans. Like, come on, yeah, whatever you can call it, entitled Americans. But I'm sorry, I just, I just like for my place to be cool, especially at night. So that's the number two thing that I really do not like about Mexico City. And the number three thing is, honestly, it's not that cheap. Like, it's, it is, honestly, way more expensive than I expected. And of course, yes, it's the main city. It's going to be more expensive than other parts of Mexico, but I'm I'm practically paying almost more for, especially going out to eat, than what I would pay for back home. So stuff like that, it's like, come on, man! Like it, it's so. Yes, you can. There's there's cheap options, but I'm not eating street food. Like I said, I'm not risking getting sick to save a buck. 
I like to eat at nice places. I like to eat at, I like to eat good food. So I'm, I'm willing to spend a little more money, but I didn't realize it's going to be this much. And even not just the food, but the drinks. I went to a place where I paid like $15 for a drink, guys. $15. So I don't know if they were ripping me or what, but I paid $15 for one drink. So that's that's New York, LA type prices out here. Um, so definitely be mindful of that. Yes, it's overall, it's still, it's affordable. And it's going to be cheaper than most places in the U.S. overall. But don't come out here thinking you're just going to be balling out. Because, guys, it, it gets pricey out here. And I've literally been bleeding cash out here. Because it's just like the things I don't expect to be expensive ends up being expensive. So it's just like it's you're kind of caught off guard. Because, I mean, if you're going to London, if you're going to places like that, you you know what you're signing up for. You you kind of you kind of prepare, you know, what you know you're gonna be spending, dropping some dough. But when they come to Mexico City, I, I wasn't prepared for that. So guys, prepare yourself for that. It's yes, okay, I'm not saying it's expensive, but it's not as cheap as you would think. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, y'all take care.